I may look tall, but I am not. Hi everyone, I'm Kali and I'm a singer-songwriter from Pasir, Singapore. And right now you are in my humble abode, which is my room. And this is where I get to be myself. I've been making music for about almost two years. Basically, the whole process of me being a singer-songwriter took place in the pandemic itself. I've lived in Pasir for all my life. So I grew up here. You know, my grandparents' place is literally a few blocks away from my home right now. Pasir is being at the coastal area of Singapore. I think we generally have that feeling of the chill vibes. We feel very relaxed. That makes us who we are because we don't want to be too, I don't know, restricted to like a very fast-paced society. So I feel, to me personally, like Pasir is where I can actually just take one step at a time. Some of my favourite things to do in Pasir would definitely have to be hanging out at the beach because, you know, you have the sea breeze on your face and your hair and um, what I usually do is I'll hold picnics with my friends or my boyfriend. We spend more time talking and engaging in conversations rather than being on our phones. These conversations can rally to like from love uh, in a relationship or it can go all the way to like society and who we are as people. So we have this kind of deep talks and I think it plays a huge role of, in what I write. The way I write my music and the way I kind of tell the story is uh, little mosaics of how people feel. For me, how I find myself in that therapeutic space would be cycling and listening to music at Pasir Ris Beach. And I want to let people be able to evoke the same emotions, which is listening to my music and feel like I'm enjoying it at a therapeutic feeling. So feelings associated to the beach, I want people to feel that in my music. I want to let people know that, you know, I am that girl next door. So I am not any different from you. You know, as an artist, people idolize you in, in certain ways. And I don't want that. I want people to just relate to me and just enjoy music. A lot of my collaborators are from past series, and one of them is the producer who has worked really closely with me for the project album called Let's Talk About Love. And he is brought by Ben. As soon as we met, we instantly clicked, we gelled and we formed a certain kind of um, relationship as an artist and producer. A few months after we have worked together, that's when we realised that, what? He literally stays like two blocks away from me. And I think that kind of relates back to like, oh, I find comfort with people from past series as well because there are certain sense of like similarities and things that we can relate to and on a personality level, maybe we're just laid back people. I don't want to rush any creative process. To me, if I have to force myself to do it, then it doesn't come from an authentic, genuine heart. So I think I have this very laid back approach to my creative process because I grew up in past series and it's pretty normal for us to just take things slow. I think if you were to come to past series, I just want them to feel like this is where they can be their most playful self. So I just want people to feel very youthful in past series. Because like in the city side of Singapore, it's very fast-paced. I just want people to feel like a kid again.